sewer installation. A group of men says city council members shouldn't have all the say in the sewer plan, and they've prepared to get their voice heard. Joe Capasso is live on Marco Island with more. Joe. First, the group of men call themselves Friends of Marco. Their goal is to get 10% of the island's registered voters to sign a petition. They won't hold a referendum to allow voters to say no to the controversial sewer project. How can you be happy if I came to you and said I want $30,000 because I don't like the way you flush your toilet? Nick Carcillo says he's ready to finally flush the idea of a multi-million dollar sewer installation down the drain. Marco Island City Council voted to go ahead with the installation of the $135 million project to install sewers throughout the island. Carcillo and his group say it shouldn't be just City Council that decides. It should be the residents, the people who are paying the bill. It was the dream that we all had to come here and live in the seaside city uh, nice and quiet, play your golf, do your fishing, do what you want to do and not be in the middle of a war zone here for the next seven or eight years uh, at everybody's expense. The petitions are written and ready to be mailed. The group seems confident that they'll be able to get 10% of the registered voters to sign, which is required by law to hold a referendum. Some city council members say this issue shouldn't be allowed to be voted on. Council members say they made a decision that was best for the island. Some residents say if they would have known this was going to happen, they wouldn't have voted for who is in office now. They say they aren't going to stop until the problem is fixed. We may look like the over the hill gang, but we got a couple of good years left in us. We made some bad mistakes in who we voted in, and I will never do that again. An online poll already shows that most residents are in favor of the vote. The first two sewer districts are already installed for now. There's no telling what the future will hold for residents who've already had work done if the referendum passes. It reminds me that the Constitution must end at the bridge because this is, this is a free society and no one should be required to pay. The city attorney tells me he's currently reviewing the petition to make sure it's legal. The residents are confident that